What's up, machine freaks? How the heck are you? I don't think we've ever started out a 3D Machines production with fan mail, so let's switch some stuff up. Let me start this video out by saying if you guys don't want to hear me talk and you just want to see me work, today isn't the video for you, so check back in tomorrow. Should be pretty exciting. Just kind of reminiscing today. Now sometimes you guys send me stuff in envelopes like this, and sometimes I open them off camera. So if you see your envelope already open, it's because I already opened it. Now today's video is gonna be a little different, and there's nobody else to blame but me, but I figured you guys wanted to stay in the loop, so that's why I made today's video. Dear 3D Machines, hi, how's your day going? Swell. My name is Colin Dreher, maybe? I'm from Columbus, Nebraska. I love your videos. I want to be a decent mechanic when I graduate high school. You are one of the five people that have inspired me to become a mechanic, including Do It With Dan, Adam LZ, Street Speed 717, and that dude in blue. I got a question, which is better, Chevy or Ford? Thanks for all the videos. Be safe, stay froggy fresh, and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much, Colin. You do the same. The Chevy and Ford. I'm kind of already digging that I didn't make a video today because now I can answer your guys' actual questions. Chevy and Ford, let's see. If you grow up with Chevys, you're going to buy a Chevy. If you grow up with Ford, you're going to buy a Ford. Unless you have bad experiences, that's what's going to happen. Saying that, what I always hear is Dodge makes the engine. Well, they have the Cummins engine, and, and a lot of people like the Hemis. Ford makes a really good chassis and body, and then Chevy puts a good transmission in their truck. So you have diehard Ford fans, you have diehard Chevy fans, you have diehard Dodge fans. That's just how it goes. You kind of pick from the three. I went with a Chevy personally because I knew that I wanted the transmission to last. And it seems like I've always heard bad things about Dodge's transmission. And Kyle D actually just got his rebuilt like twice now. And his engine is, is awesome. He got his transmission built to withstand way more than the engine could put out. But it still crapped the bed. I personally owned a Dodge, a Ford, and a Chevy. And I have blown a Chevy transmission, a Ford, I've blown their engine. The Dodge was the only thing I never had anything go wrong with it, but that was also a rust-free truck. Saying that, if I say Ford, half the people will disagree with me, and half the people will agree with me. If I say Chevy, the same thing will happen. So my advice, you choose. <laughs> What I honestly think it comes down to is how the vehicle was treated before. It doesn't really matter what brand is on the front of the hood. It's how the previous owner treated it. That's how it's going to treat you. So as you guys know, the New York weather isn't the best right now. It's not like 80 degrees or 90 degrees like it is down south. You guys down south, I'm very jealous of you. But it's nowhere near as bad as Canada or Alaska or anything like that. Hi all, my name is Jim McCarthy. Sometimes you guys send me stuff that I don't find appropriate to put on the channel. Not because it's like disrespectful or rude or, or like you guys sent me something inappropriate. It's just I don't want to offend anybody. I do appreciate everything you guys send. Three machines. Hi, love your videos. Keep up making awesome content. Man, I even have tools with my name on them. What's gonna be next? Next order of business is the 3D Machines decals. As you guys know, these were a limited time warranty. A limited time sticker. I only had so many of them we sold out. You can no longer get this sticker, so don't bother making any orders. Tomorrow we're actually going to have the giveaway drawing, and then we'll send them out tomorrow too, so Friday. Jake and I found out the, the flatter the surface is, that you're going to apply these decals, the better they will last. Uh, we found out that after we put it on Jake's bike, he got some gas on it and gas and plastic or vinyl, whatever this stuff is, doesn't mix very well. Put it on a nice flat surface, clean it good, they'll last a long time. Before I started daily vlogging, I still made videos just about every time I hung out with my friends. And there are a lot of videos that you guys haven't even seen before. So I figured I would share a time when we went snowmobiling, Kyle D, Kyle S, and Jake the Toilet Snake. We went up to the Adirondacks, that's in New York, that's just, that's just north of us. And for some reason I can't find it, but there was actually a chick that had a brand new like 2015-2016 Articat. This was, you know, a year or two ago, so it was, it was new anyways. And she ended up going into a pond and sinking it into the pond, and for some reason I can't find that footage. But what I can find, well, it's me almost tipping my sled. So this is Jake in the gray, Kyle S in the red, and then Kyle D has the blue jacket. So we all have Apexes, we all have Yamahas. The only difference is Jake has a carbureted sled and we have fuel injected sleds. Yeah, we were on the gas. These sleds are extremely fast. I know I was in the triple digits, I can't really read the speedometer right now. Maybe you guys can. But what I can remember is this. So close. 
almost, I almost dipped it. Kyla says, that was awesome. There was a good save. Watch the bridge. I believe this was last winter, and this is before I started carrying around my handy cam or my point and shoot everywhere. I don't know what was up with Kyle D, but for some reason he started taking a nap. I, I had to do this. I have a video of when I went to prom and we took a Hummer limo. What? Take the driver's seat. Yeah? Go ahead. Look in there? No. Yes. What? I was recording. Go okay. Ahead. Get in. Get in? Oh god. You want me to drive this? Not really. Can you drive it? Nah, you gotta be 21 to drive it. You 21 yet? I am now. <laughs> you can lie about it, right? You're 21, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no one's a dollar. Where do you want me to drive it to? It's gotta be parked. It's gotta be parked? It's gotta be oh parked. Oh my god, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. It's so dark in here, you can't even see it. I was getting freaked out myself. I'm scared. <laughs> Is he really gonna I don't know. You have a driver's license? Yeah. Yeah, he does. I drove a bus before. You drove a bus? Yeah. This cool is bus. just like a bus, only worse. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so he was busting my balls. He didn't let me drive it. I was only uh, 17 at the time. So that that's an old video. And I'm just going through these files of stuff that I've never thought of making a video. Or at the time, I, I did think of making a video but it really didn't make sense. I, I even have videos of my great-grandmother, and she just recently passed away. She, she was amazing. And I get a lot of questions why I have this behind me, the newspaper article, and I was on TV. We were all so young. It's amazing what happens in just five years. As you guys know, I currently have like 495,000 subscribers. I told you at 500,000 subscribers, I would buy something new. I think Jake and I are going to do that today. So it's not going to be great at 500,000 subscribers. I'm too excited about it, so we're just going to go and buy it. Hopefully we have that up tomorrow for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I tried to show you guys something you've never seen before. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out.